Hey guys, what is up? First thing you may notice is yes, I have a haircut. Thankfully, finally, um, my hair was getting a bit too long and curly, so I thought, you know, it needs a bit shortened. First things first, before we get this episode of uh, Video Game Movie Finds that you're from Charge Shops uh, started, I want to show you two good deals that I got. This isn't part, this is just sort of a little bonus. I picked these two up, um, for, brand new, for four ninety nine each, so I thought I'd just show you guys real quick. Splinter Cell Blacklist. And Final Fantasy XIV, as you saw in my um, How Long to Download video. So, if you did watch it. So yeah, I picked up them to four ninety nine. Well, actually, no, one was about three fifty. The other one was for like four fifty or something. Um, so it didn't cost much for both of them. So that was just a little bonus I wanted to show you. And another thing, just to ver uh, this is now I will show you. Oh, sorry. Let me just rephrase that. I'm now going to show you what I got from my charity shops. Um, so let's begin. First thing isn't actually a video game or a movie, it is a book. I have now got another book from Harry Potter series, because um, I got from, from the same charity shop as I got the other box that I showed you last time I picked this up, it was only 79p, so I took that opportunity straight away. Okay, here's the games and the films now. Now, this film I've been after for a little while and I couldn't find it, and then I found it in the charity shop. Uh, I got The Thing for 199 I have seen this. It is a really, really good film, and I absolutely love it. The uh, the remake, I think it's a remake, um, recently, is was actually pretty good, but no one can beat this version, and if you've seen the original, then you'll probably like that. I haven't actually seen it. Uh, this cost me one ninety nine. Um, Operation Win Back on the PS2. It's pretty beaten up, unfortunately, and the disc is pretty damn scratched, but because I didn't have the game, it doesn't have a manual either, uh, but because I didn't have the game, I wanted to pick it up, and it is very beaten, but I'm going to go and get it cleaned. So, yeah, it's just a game I've been after for a while. That's why I picked up on the opportunity. Uh, Rabbids Go Home. I wanted to pick up a couple of Wii games. Uh, I wanted to pick, start picking up some more Wii games that are more sort of for the family because uh, we do have family come around quite a lot. So when we set up the Wii, I wanted to get some games. So this was one ninety nine, and so is this Wii Play. A Wii Party, sorry, for one ninety nine. I put them both up at the same charity shop. Um, and, yeah, um, I thought I'd pick them up just because of... Um, well, for that one reason, really. Um, for like party events, and they are quite fun to play as well. Okay, we've got two little, we've got two gaming booklets here. Um, we've got for the original Xbox, we've got uh, Grand Theft Auto Double Pack Strategy Guide and Broken Sword, uh, the Sleeping Dragon for the um, original Xbox. This was 10p, and for another 10p, so pay 20p for both of them. Um, I got Tomb Raider one and two guide of each level in the game, on both games, so I was pretty happy I'd find them. It was just in some books, um, I, I only I first saw this one, and then I had a look and I saw this one as well, and she said 10p each, so I said I'll have them then straight away. There was another um, guide I was going to pick up, it was a Pokemon guide, but um, this was like in a different place, in a different place, I was going to pick up a Pokemon book, but unfortunately you had to buy, I think it was four books for a pound, and the only good book there was that one, and none of them were particularly good. So, I saw yeah, that sucked a bit. But yeah, anyway, uh, this was also one ninety nine. I picked up Natural Born Killers, the director's cut, uh, the special edition. I've heard some pretty good things about this uh, about this film, so I decided to pick it up when it, while it was there because it's one of those films that would go pretty quickly. Okay, I was very happy about this. Let me tell you a little story. With this this one charity shop that's just up the road from me. Whenever I go in there, I go in there quite regularly, I always ask the people out the back where they sort out the stuff that's been donated if they have any video games. This particular day, I did actually see a bunch of them. Um, so I asked him, could you grab those ones if that's okay? And he said, yeah, that's fine. He said, if there's any... He, he basically said, if you see any games around here, just ask us and we'll bring them out. Uh, so he brought out a bunch of games. And apart, I, only, I had one of them, but the rest of them I didn't have. So I took them all. I just bought all of them. Um, so this was one of them, this was Killer7 for the PS2, I was so happy that I found this finally. Fairly beat up, but the disc is in pretty good condition, so I'm happy about that. Um, and it has the manual, I believe. Yeah, so the case is a bit fucked, but the disc, from what I remember, yeah, the disc's fine, disc's mint. Um, so yeah, I was very happy that I picked this up. Um, just one thing that I'm going to mention to you guys is I have picked up a lot of stuff from charity shops recently, so there's some things that I may not include in this video because I don't remember what they were. Um, I know that, that from what I have here, there's a little bit more, but there's not too much you've missed. They're just some games and a couple of films. Um, but I just don't remember what I bought, because I bought quite a lot from charity shops this month. So, Another two games. Um, I have this one Tekken Tag Tournament, but I wanted to pick up another copy of it. 
this again is pretty beaten up and uh, Crush Bandicoot. Uh, yeah, there's a Wrath of Cortex. This is 199 as well. They're both pretty beat up, so I'm going to have to get these two cleaned um, because the discs are pretty knackered. But I wanted to get another copy of that because because um, it's Tekken and I love it. And I, and I didn't have a copy of that, so I thought I'd pick that up along with it. That wasn't in the bundle. That was from a different charity shop. Okay, this is from uh, the charity shop where I... Um, I'll just take the sticker off. Um, I've heard some things about this game, but I haven't really been too... I haven't really played it. Now, aside from the case being a bit cracked on the side there, it's actually in pretty good condition. So is the disc. I got uh, Viva Piñata Party Animals for the Xbox. It was $1.99, because all the games in there are $1.99 in that shops, apart from like PlayStation 1 games and PC game. No, Yeah, PlayStation 1 games, they're 99p. Um, so, yeah. I picked that up, and I haven't played it yet, but I've heard it's a bit weird, but pretty decent. Um, I'm try I when I was a kid I played Tony Hawk's a lot so I saw this in the pile and I picked this one up straight away Tony Hawk's American Wasteland I love the Tony Hawk series I I have quite a lot of the games I don't have all of them yet but I have quite a lot of them so I'm hoping to pick them up at some point Okay this I was surprised about this was mint condition all through and through um case and disc um and I was debating what console to get this specific game for but then I Thought, you know, the Wii would probably be a better one. And that's CSI, um, Hard Evidence. Now, although the game hasn't really been one of those games that everyone's ranted and raved about, I wanted to get it for the for the Wii because I feel it's the sort of game that would work better on the Wii. And it only cost me a pound. Literally, it was one pound. So I'm not arguing with that. There's a little bit of gunk in, like, the middle of the disc. But nothing by the looks of things that would actually damage it. So anyway, it was only a pound, so if it doesn't work, I'll keep the case, get rid of the disc, and see if I can get a disc-only copy. But yeah, a pound. Um, and I thought, it's because it's like a point-and-click sort of thing in a way, it'll be better off on the Wii, so that's what I got it for. Okay, I got this for one ninety nine. This is complete and in pretty good condition. I do have this on the PS2, but I wanted it on the original Xbox as well, and I do want it on the 360. And that's Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson's King Kong. Um, this game is actually surprisingly good. It's is very well made, and for a movie based game, it is very very good. And um, the Xbox three hundred and sixty version is the other version I want to get of it. But these this version, the PS two version, is the one that I have at the moment. Because so yeah, I thought I'd pick that up since it was there. Okay, this cost me ninety nine p. I haven't really played this game, nor have I really. I've heard of it, but I've never played it, and I've never really looked up much on it. And that's uh, Micromaniacs of the PS one. Um, I could probably play it because I obviously I can play it on my PS3, but still, I haven't got around to playing it yet. But I've I've heard some I've heard average things about it, I guess. Okay, um, from that pile that I told you about um, of games, uh, this was the game that I had, but I had it on GameCube. Um, so I thought I'd pick this up for PS2, and that's Medal of Honor: Rising Sun. Um, I originally owned the Medal of Honor games for the PlayStation, but then I got rid of them, um, and then I got given a copy of Frontline. And I, this was in that pile of games, so I just said I'll take it as well. So then I have I have Frontline and, and Rising Sun for the PS2, the GameCube, and I have Frontline also for the PS3, because I got the PS3 version of Medal of Honor, and it came with the HD remake of it, so yeah. Okay, two more games, and that is it for this uh, video. This one, honestly, I knew it was a PC game, but I wanted to pick it up anyway. I have no idea why. It was 99p, so I, I didn't really you know think too much about it. But I got Tomb Raider Chronicles on the PC. Um, I probably will play this at some point because it will most likely work on my PC. But yeah, I don't know. I just picked it up because it's Tomb Raider and I like Tomb Raider games. So, Okay, last game. This is one that I have actually been after for a while. Now, aside from a bit of damage on the case and uh, on the actual side of the um, cover, the disc um, it has the manual. The disc is a near enough immaculate. Um, so aside from the case being a bit buggered and the front cover being a bit, it's pretty much good. Um, I have the second one on the PS2 because the second one was released on the PS2 and original Xbox, but the first one was released on original Xbox, PS2 and GameCube. So I picked up the uh, GameCube version of the first one, um, but I have the PS2 version of the second one, which I've had for years. So I'm, I need to pick up the original Xbox version of the second one and the first one now, because uh, now I've got this version of it. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on the PS2. I was surprised. I scrolled through a bunch of games um, because they always bring out piles of games from the back of this um, charity shop. And when they brought it out, I didn't initially see anything. So when I scrolled through it, I saw like um, a Connect game. I saw Rise of Nightmares, 
Um, I saw like three football games, and I was just, I was just like, oh, this probably isn't going to be anything in here. And then I saw this game, um, so I was like, I'm having that straight away. That was gone in my buy pile, um, and I'm really happy I picked it up again because I did originally own this for the PS2, but I got rid of it because I'm an idiot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I have picked up. Um, and I guess as another little bonus, um, I got given uh, this by my nephew. Yeah, I got given this game by my nephew um, because we like if we don't want games, we usually just give each other games, like we swap them or something. And I've got some PS3 games I don't want, so I'm going to give them to him. But um, basically, he gave me Bullet Witch for the Xbox. I haven't heard much about this game. I have seen some gameplay. It does look pretty damn good. Um, so I've heard it's a fairly average game. It's one of those ones that you could, you know you either love it or you hate it. But I have seen some gameplay. And it does look pretty good. So I am looking forward to playing this. And yeah, thanks to my nephew for giving me this game. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this other, uh, third episode now of uh, Charity Shop fi Video Game Movie Finds. Oh, the few bonuses here and there. Um, there might be another episode tomorrow because I get paid tomorrow and I'm going into town. But I do have a budget um, because I'm, I, I always plan out my months to make sure I have enough money uh, through the whole month. So there will be a budget, but I'll see what I can pick up in the charity shops, if anything. A new one has opened recently in town as well, so I will be able to check that one out. I did check it out before, um, and I did actually pick up a PS2 controller. I don't remember where I put it. I think it's either in my wardrobe or in my basket over there. But just as another thing, I picked up a PS2 controller, and it's pretty it's pretty good condition. There's nothing wrong with it. There's one little pin in the... Um, the bit where you plug it into the PlayStation, there's a pin missing, but I don't think that makes much difference. Um, so that's what I picked up, and because that one's opened, he said he's getting some consoles and more games in, so I'm going to check that out tomorrow, and I will hopefully find some good finds. And if I do, I'll make another episode tomorrow, but it might be a short one if I don't find a huge amount. But um, yeah, this has just been what I've picked up this month. As I said, there's a few things that have been missing, but I don't remember what I picked up because I picked up a fair bit. Um, anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in my other videos, whether they be random or gameplay videos, which are random anyway, so thanks for watching guys, bye.